Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Sukhmani here. As this quarantine is a little hard to bear, I'm gonna do a little fun activity of painting these old shoes that I have here. So before you guys go in, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so for this, I am using these acrylic colors here by Fevicryl to paint over the shoes. So for this project, I was thinking of making a tropical looking abstract kind of thing. But let's see how it turns out in the end. So everyone who doesn't know, I did graduate as an architect in 2018. Architecture here is like a five-year course and I was doing pretty great but towards the end I wasn't really feeling it. Like I do like to design but I wasn't very inclined towards getting a job. Mm, I wanted to create but not under pressure from a job. Also all my life I've lived by one philosophy to do what I want to do and to do it today. I know not great words but let me explain. <laughs> so I have always always made my decisions that made me happy at that very moment in my life because I've always been scared of not doing something and then regretting it later in the future. Also, I've always had this fear of not being able to do something, but I always wanted to create my life myself. And the fear of these social restrictions that I might and might not face in the future. Um, as we know, like the future is very unpredictable and uh, that is why I always wanted to do everything now. You never know like when you're gonna go but I don't want to lead a miserable life until then and I don't want to plan out stuff for some other time in the future that I don't even know will exist or not. So I did not want to do a job. I wanted to do something, I just didn't know what. And after I graduated, I pretty much wasted all my time. I literally did nothing other than watch Netflix. I used to watch a lot of design and art related stuff on YouTube though. This wasn't something new. I had always been that kid who did follow all those art and craft tutorials and made a bunch of stuff. <laughs> those were the days. After a few months had passed, a friend of mine asked me to join her on a project. So while we were working, we had to go to Delhi and later one night when we were discussing some stuff, she told me and encouraged me to start an Instagram account for something else. But I never thought that I would start an art account. So when I came back home, I went to the market and got some paints and I wanted to try out this fluid art trend that was going on. At this point, I had already made one art piece using fluid art technique and I wanted to try more. And I just started painting. Earlier, I thought like everybody else that it looked easy, but when I started to make art using fluid art, I learned how hard it is to control colors. Because when I started out, I would just like mix everything and it would turn like mud. <laughs> but after some practice and a lot of error and trying again and again, I got some hand of it. So I started to post my art on Instagram. My friends and my family really appreciated it and I got a little more confident. This made me like so happy and I realized that art was something I want to do. I felt it in my gut and I just wanted to make 
it into something i wanted to make it a business even though i didn't know like anything about running a business <laughs> i still don't but yeah i am doing okay so far <laughs> and and i would just create artwork and keep posting it and life was good so then my friend again asked me to work on a design project i was excited excited about the I was excited for the project and also I was working on my art side by side. She told me that I was good and I should try and get a stall in Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair is like an exclusive exhibition fair that takes place like twice a year. So after some time I booked my stall and started to work on it. it was quite overwhelming as i was putting together like my first exhibition for people to see my art and i was working so hard for it although working for it like gave me a million anxiety attacks and breakdowns i still cannot believe that i pulled it off and in between all of this i started my youtube channel i never thought i would but i did and i'm really happy for it i'm happy that i found what i want to do but it doesn't just stop here it keeps changing and i keep learning to be better and to learn something and to be more happy in what i do and what i can achieve So tell me in the comments down below about the things you wanted to do but you did not out of pressure from the society or any other reasons. You can also tell me if you managed to get out of this monotonous circle of life to give time to your thoughts and do something you are passionate about. You know you don't have to take a huge step like leave your job or something you can do it along your job it's just you can take little steps as long as you take them in the right direction setting little goals towards your passion will never be a bad decision you don't need to be like good at it but I know people think about stuff they need to do before starting something and like all those things about why you can't do this right now and all the reasons but uh, deep inside you know like you're holding back because I did once too and I'm happy I could break through that I know my story isn't like amazing and I don't even know if how many people will watch this and be interested in it but i told it anyway because at least someone even if it's just like one person will act on their passion or at least think about it because it's never too late i feel like i've been talking for hours any who i just wanted to say that don't leave stuff on tomorrow and wait for some right time because the right time is now
Also, please take care of yourselves and keep your distance. Stay indoors. This was a fun video to make and I enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too. Hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye guys.